Okay, so Blackbird, um, basically what you want to do is work on the picking pattern to this song. Um, there's a lot of guys playing it, finger picking it. Um, all that kind of stuff. Um, but that isn't what's happening, okay? If, if you watch Paul play it, um, you can find him playing it on the internet in a bunch of places. And if you really listen to the record, he isn't doing that. He's he's basically picking with his uh, thumb and his forefinger. Okay, so he gets this little picking pattern going. There's two different picking patterns that he uses. Okay, and the first one um, is he just I'll just use this this figure up here because it sounds nice. But he picks the bass note and the B string. It's always picking the B string. Well, there's a couple on the E but it's 99% on the B string, okay? And it's... Okay, so what I'm doing there is I'm picking, in this particular um, chord formation, I'm picking the A string and the B string together, and I'm picking down on the G string and the B string. Okay? So the two strings together, and then down with my finger, and it's not really a, you know, it's not really a hammer, it's just a very subtle, he's just brushing against those, like it, it, in those notes, that is dominant, and this is kind of behind, or backward, or in the background. Sometimes when he's doing this pattern, He's just just hits the G, but other times he hits both. He'll hit the G and the B. Okay, so that's that's not really I think by design. It's just it works out that way. I don't think he, he really thinks about it that much. It just kind of happens. Okay, so now the next pattern is he he um. He, he starts at the same, where he plays the bass note and the high note in this formation of the A string and the B string together, right, with the thumb and forefinger, and then he throws in this rhythm with just his finger, okay, and it's... Actually, thumb's in there too, but it's strong, down, up, with the finger on the G and the B. So it's strong, down, up, and then it's you hit the bass note, and it's up, down. So it's both notes, down, up, bass note, up, down. So. Sorry. Okay. So the first, the first pattern then is And the next second pattern is okay. In between those two patterns, you can play the whole song. Okay, so I'll just just show you. Uh, just isolate this the picking hand. I'll just play the beginning. So it's okay. So the first section is that. Just changing chord shapes, right? And then we come into the second pattern. Okay, so. First pattern. Second pattern. First pattern. Second pattern. In the very beginning, that, that line there, there's no G in that part. Uh, there's no flick down. It, it, it's in the first two. Like. And then he just rides that up, okay? So instead of flicking there, instead of going. He just doesn't flick it there. He just rides it up. So it's. 
Okay? So that's just a little, you know, idiosyncrasy of the song. bass notes go, there, there's always four uh, uh, notes per bar, the quarter notes on the bass, and that never changes through the whole song. So that's another thing to kind of keep you anchored. Um, you know, if you get a little off track, just always remember that the bass is always four, right? So like... Okay, so that's, that's it all the way through. Okay, and that's what you need to work on, really. That's what will make it sound like Blackbird as opposed to sounding like something else. Okay, now I'll just quickly go over the chord shapes here. Um, the, the left hand is not difficult in this song. Really, it's the picking that uh, is going to make or break you. Okay, so we, the first pattern starts on the G string, or the G note, uh, E3, open B. I'll just play it slowly and you can just watch. Okay, so I use my little finger in there, I go Okay, now the next pattern That's A3, B5 See, what's cool about it is the bass just moves up Okay, so A3, B5, A4, E3, A5, E7, A6, I said B7, B7 there, A6, E5, A7, B8. Okay, so Okay, so that whole thing is Okay, and then we just slide the finger down. So we got a A6 um, B8. We're just basically doing the whole thing backwards now, right? So then we've got a... Okay, so... Um, A5, B7, A4, E3, A3, um, B5. Okay, and then we just slide the E or the B down to E4. And we slide the whole thing down, so we got um, A, 2, B, 3, and then we got open A, B, 2, open D, B, 1, and then we're home, right? G and the B. Okay? So, you throw the picking in there, it starts to sound like Blackbird, right? The only other, well, there's a couple of like variations. Um, there's the part after the first verse where he goes, but those are already formations that you know. Okay, so you can kind of work that out fairly easily. Um, just copy down, like write down the pattern, uh, like verse, chorus, break, whatever, in the song on a piece of paper, so you know what's coming up, right? But I can show you the notes. Um, and then we've got that section where he sort of stops playing. Um, and I'll show you the pattern there. He goes. He goes one, two, three, four. Right? And then he just does one of these. Um, 
and then there's the Blackbird fly part, which is up here, uh, which was B8, or sorry, A8, B10, and then A7, B8. So, and we slide that whole thing down two frets. So we've got A5, B6. So, and then we're here which is uh, A3, B5, and then we slide that down too. We've got A1, B3, so. And we slide the whole thing up too, right? So slowly again. Do it twice. And then we're back to this, open A, B2, open D, B1, okay, when we get to that, that particular chord, because uh, the strumming is, sort of, I, I mute the uh, D string with my middle finger there, because that definitely doesn't sound there, so. Um, it's just a matter of you putting it all together. The trick is all in the picking, okay? It's in with the thumb and the four fingers. So the best thing to do really is just to practice those two figures. So the first figure, uh, and the second figure. Okay, and the entire song is within those two picking patterns. Okay? Alright, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it too. Alright, see ya.